main object of us coming today was to make people aware and to protest against the latest defence cuts uh, that Philip Hannon has announced, um, and which involves the acting of the Staffordshire Regiment, um, i.e. Three Mercian. We want to keep that name alive. We want to keep the regiment here as it is, because the way we see it, there's no reason to ask the regiment whatsoever. Um, there's cuts can be made in other places, and particularly from the top. And in, in, if you look at the context, there's a 6.6 billion pound uh, wastage by the MOD that was highlighted by the one mail a few weeks ago in the national paper. So we feel this cuts should start at the top, not at the bottom. We need more troops on the ground, not less troops. How important do you think the Staffordshire name is to the people of the county? I think it's uh, incredibly important. I mean, Stafford has had a military tradition and a history spanning at least 100 years. Um, you know, my parents came here um, with the RAF. Now we're talking about our uh, MOD Stafford and the army, and it's just it's. Stafford's got a massive history with um, the Stafford Regiment and I just, I just think it's crazy. Well, what I and all the other local Staffordshire MPs are doing is making the case that the, the name of the Staffords and the tradition should be kept within uh, the Mercian Regiment. We'd like to see the name of the Staffords carried over onto one of the other two regular battalions of the regiment. And I think we've been making the case that the Staffords have a, an extremely long and distinguished history, and not just a history, but the Staffords, even now, are preparing to go to Afghanistan next year. They're a vital part of the, of the British Army, and a vital part of what it's done over the last 307 years. Correct, tradition, yes, going back to 1705, um, many, many uh, battles have been fought by the Staffords over the years. Uh, First World War, if you look at it, it was 10,000 troops were killed, uh, 20,000 came back injured, and the Staffords put in 30, 40 battalions of men. Uh, if you look on the Victoria Cross side, we've got 13 Victoria Crosses. Uh, we've got uh, the highest decorated non commissioned officer uh, in, in the whole of the British Army. Um, that was Coltman, a guy called Coltman, he was uh, under this guy in the First World War. Uh, going on to the Second World War, we, we won two VCs in one battle. We were the only, only regiment to have done that in one battle. That was uh, Jack Baskerfield, uh, Lance Sergeant Jack Baskerfield from Stoke on Trent, and uh, Major Robert Kane um, in the South Staffs in the Battle of Arnhem. He's fighting spirit through, throughout, throughout the throughout the ages with the Staffordshire Guard. And he's so proud now in the, in the role that they're doing out in Afghanistan, uh, where, where they've got to go back to next year and then come back home with the people in the I think it's really important to uh, speak up for the people of Stafford and Staffordshire in supporting the uh, Fert Mercians Regiment. You know, defence um, review has taken place. They've decided that they want to cut out entire uh, battalions and regiments. And I just, I just think it's crazy. I mean, these soldiers are over in Afghanistan, Iraq, has been, uh, you know, Bosnia and all sorts of other places serving the country and then they're told right we don't want you anymore because somebody in Whitehall is just saying oh well we need to get these numbers down yeah they're quite willing to spend in other places you know they're spending more on the unemployment line because the gov government's position is to put more people into unemployment than it is employment and this is what they're doing with the soldiers as well. All we can do at the moment is sign a petition, uh, make the government have a rethink and maybe put some pressure on, on the guys at the top. Uh, where, where there's wastage, where there's more, where there's more bosses and uh, you know, such as troops, uh, you know, get, get the wastage down at the top and then, there's, then you can keep more troops on the ground. So it's only proof, I mean, how many of you have got Olympics at the moment? Our boys come home on leave, where did they end up? 
London. London. Yeah. London. Olympics. Yeah. I'd just like to thank everyone for turning up today, um, for Staff Association, Staff of Branch. Uh, it's been a fantastic turnout so far. What's the response been like? How do you feel about the people that have turned out to the demonstrations and stuff? How do you feel about them? Um, been a little bit low key. Uh, very, very pleased with today. We've had a fantastic turnout. Uh, we've had the help from other branches, um, a lot from uh, Litchfield Branch. Um, we've a lot of support locally from the townspeople. Of course. Actually, there's a load of councils came out to support us. And uh, whether you, I don't really know, but there's two, two anchors. Bill Cash and uh, Jeremy Lefroy came and supported us as well. So we're, yeah, we're very pleased with support. It must be reassuring we're, to right. us. Must be reassuring to us. Oh, yes, yes. We, we know everybody's in ground in Staffordshire. But, you know, if you, if you lose the name of Staffordshire, we haven't got a measurement. And then that leaves us in fighting spirit. Hopefully, we can make a difference in the defence costs and change, change the way the government are thinking. Thank you.